Morning, good afternoon, good evening. It's good to be talking to you all again. This is Wednesday, April 15th. It's my brother's birthday. It's round two. I made a tiny mistake in the morning, but everything's all right. I'm in Google Classroom. I'm going to head over to Classwork. And as you can see, I've got today's activity for today. I'm going to go ahead and click on Turn In. All right. And as I can see, here's the document with my name on that. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. All right, and I'm going to open up the presentation. I'm going to put these side by side just so you could follow along with me. Alrighty. So as you can see, we have a lot of stuff to cover today, but not too much. Uh, you'll see it's going to go by pretty quickly. Let's start off with the question of the day. Alrighty, because there's a major announcement. That major announcement is that your essay needs to be reviewed by the lead editor or a peer that says that the essay is ready to be turned in. I am not going to grade your essay until it's been reviewed by either your lead editor or another peer from our class. It could be any uh, for somebody from any period. So now the question is, why do you think I would do that? All right, write your answer here. All right, and then in Google Classroom, you're gonna go back to the question and you'll see you can answer the question here. All right, once you answer the question here, uh, comment on somebody else. Alrighty, some of you have been losing points because you're not writing a complete comment. You're just writing, I agree. Please write a complete comment. And if you wanna get an, an AWW or a four today, then you're gonna to need to respond to somebody else and write what you said and respond to somebody else. So you're gonna to need to respond to two other people. Alrighty, go ahead and get that done. Pause the video and come on back. The next thing uh, we're gonna go over is there are some uh, due dates coming up that we should talk about, all right? Uh, the entire article uh, f should have been finished for peer review, so the editing phase by yesterday, all righty. Your image with the caption should be done by tomorrow, and your entire project should be done, ready to turn in by Friday, all right? So uh, that's a big due date, all right? Here's the game plan for today. You're either gonna do a peer edit reflection, a self edit, or you're gonna catch up on your essay. Then I'm gonna show you some videos on how to choose your image and caption, uh, choose your image and caption. I'm gonna give you a checklist. And then I'm gonna show you videos about how you can make your image into a caption, uh, your image and a caption together, and how to cite your image. Alrighty? Let's go get, uh, go ahead and get started, all right? So uh, the first thing that we're gonna do is you have to decide. You have three options, all right? Three options. You could either A, do the peer review reflection, all right? You're only gonna do that if you actually received a peer review score. And you can get between a three or a four today by doing this option, all right? Or if you didn't do a peer review yesterday, you can do the self edit, all right? And you can also get a three to a four today. Now, let's say you're really behind all right, and all you really need to do today is just keep writing your essay, you can do that. But if you just write your essay today, then you'll get a 2.75 for today's work. Unless you also make an appointment with me. All right, if you make an appointment with me, I'll bump that up to a three, all righty? That's because all the everybody else is doing a bunch of work, um, and just because you're catching up, it's kind of not fair to everybody else that they're uh, not getting the same score. All right, or that you were getting the same score. So uh, here's your option. So you can either do option one, the peer review, all right? Uh, by the way, if you didn't get an email from somebody uh, about the what you got, you can go here and see what they wrote, all right? I've got it organized by first name. So for example, let's say you're, okay, Jackson, you're, uh, you're my, uh, my person, right? So, um, of the article you are peer reviewing. Okay, so I have it, I'll, I'll fix this right now. Uh, I'll make it in this order, but let's say you're Charlie, right? And you're looking for yours. You can see all of Jackson's responses right here, okay? Keep on moving here. Uh, option two, like I said, is the self edit, all right? This is where you're going to be filling this in. If you've done the self edit before, you've noticed that I left you comments, all righty? Please. Use those comments, all right? I'm just trying to improve your essay, all right? So fill out the self-edit form, right? If you didn't do a peer edit yesterday, 
or you could do option three, work on your essay if you're behind. Pretty much all I'm asking you to do is tell me where you are and are you going to make an appointment with me. If you make an appointment with me, you'll get a three instead of a 2.75 for today. If you don't make an appointment with me and you're just going to keep writing your essay, then you'll just get a 2.75 for today. Alrighty. Go ahead and work on either one of those three options, all right? The key thing my peer edited people is uh, a lot of time uh, students will not have fix the suggestions that people make, all right? So please, please, please fix any suggestions that they made, all right? Uh, it's really important. Feel free to pause the video and come on back. There are some general announcements. They're really general, all right? Uh, don't forget, everything can be graded. All your teachers should be assigning work this week. I'm reducing the workload, and I'm going to ask for your feedback at the end of the cl uh, class. This is going to give me an idea as to how much or how little work to do, all righty? Keep on moving here. Uh, choosing your image and caption list, all right? So here is a couple ch a checklist, all right, for what your image and captions should be doing, right? So your image should be relevant to your essay, all right? What does that mean? That means that if you're writing about painting, right, you wanna have, or the history of painting, you wanna have an image there that shows what, like something important that happened in painting, right? Is your image appropriate for middle school, all right? I don't have to go too deep into that. Just make sure your image is appropriate, all right? And if you don't know, you could always talk to me, all right? Does the image show off something that is mentioned in your essay, all right? It needs to show off something that's mentioned in your essay, all right? It can't just be something random. And does your caption explain what the image has to do with your essay? That is also really important. Once you've read this checklist, say that you've read this checklist, all right? The next thing that we've got is uh, how to make your image and caption. How do you make your image and caption? What you're gonna do is you're gonna watch the video all right, I made it this morning. It's just a screencast of how to make the image and caption. All right, and then you're gonna answer the question. All right, so after you copy the image, you go to the menu in the top left, click insert, and then what do you click? It's found at 11 seconds in the video. All right, what about this? How do you cite your image? All right, how do you cite your image? So to do this, you're gonna watch this video, right? And then I go through and explain how to cite an image using Citation Machine. Spoiler alert, it's not very easy to do because you might need to do some extra searching for your image stuff, all right? And you can see that in this video, I have to go to another website and start looking like, wait, what's Raphael's full name? All that good stuff, all righty? Last but not least, let's say you don't know where your image came from. You're like, ah, I found this image, but I have no idea where it came from. It's not giving me any information about who took the photograph or any of that stuff. How can I find it? Well, I made a YouTube video for that too, all right? It starts off with getting the image. And for me, the way I get the image here, as you can just see, is I screenshotted the image, all righty? You need to download the image to your computer somehow, all righty? So uh, screenshot it, and then you're gonna use Google Image Search to search the image on the internet, and the Google will tell you all the websites that have that image. And hopefully through that, you can find more information on where your image came from. Last but not least, there is a link to the survey today. Alrighty, so please, please, please complete this survey. Uh, this survey will not load up in this window, but it will load up in this window. All right, so please take this survey again once you are done with all of the classwork for today. Alrighty, and keep working on your History Magazine project, all right? Please, please, please make an appointment with me if you need any help. Please, if you need help with the intro and the conclusion, look at this document. It's got a great advice on how you can do your intro paragraph and your conclusion paragraph, all right? Uh, especially your conclusion paragraphs. Tons of strategies here. Also, feel free, as I said, when you make it, you can make an appointment, you could also email me and you can also contact your lead editor, all right? Have a great day, everybody. That's the game plan for today. Remember, you have to choose one of these options, all right? Uh, make sure that you check out how to cite your image and all that important all that important stuff and take care everybody take care be safe out there and we'll be talking soon have a great day